pray that you would just be with us this morning as we gather to remember those lost. I pray that you would just provide your grace and compassion and love on those who are still missing their loved ones that, that died and perished that day. Bells rang out through the River Chase Galleria. Serving as a reminder of the tragic day that struck 21 years ago. A day that shook the foundation of America and changed our nation forever. Most of us old enough can remember exactly what we were doing at that moment when we found out that the first airplane had hit the tower. And while everyone was running out, these brave men and women were running in. To think what those individuals did, they knew very well that they probably, it was a good chance they may not come back. They say time heals all wounds, but those wounds remain deep for those who survived and the families who are reminded on the anniversary of 9-11. Every year, they will see the towers fall, the planes hit, the planes crashing. Bonded by sadness and patriotism, together first responders climb 110 stories, a tribute to the fallen as we never forget. It's a way for us to focus and to maybe ponder and to think about what those firefighters and police officers were doing as they were climbing those stairs to perform the job that they were sworn to do. Although those police officers and firefighters were dressed in gear, the greatest weight is remembering their brothers and sisters who paid the ultimate sacrifice. That event, I think, showed the world what firefighters and police officers are made of, that they are absolutely willing to give their lives to save others' lives. In Hoover, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News.